हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल योर फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन पेपर कंप्राइज ऑफ थर्टी टू फोर्टी परसेंट डिराइवेशन एज यू ऑल नो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल द डिराइवेशन विच इज गिवन इन योर टेक्सट बुक एंड यू नीड टू कॉपी पेस्ट और यू नीड टू राइट एज इट इज इन योर आंसर शीट सो यू विल गि मोर देन इफ यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ पासिंग मार्क्स यू विल गि एब्सोल्यूटली पास इफ यू practice all the derivations so the, nearly there are about 30 to 40 30 to 35 around 30 to 35 derivations in your textbook and you you need not to mug up all those things let's learn how to remember them and also how to solve them in a conceptual way conceptual way within a short time that's the main concern here now we are now in the chapter 2 that is electrostatic potential and cap- capacitance solving performing the derivation of relation between electric field and potential now i am considering two electrostatic surface which is equipotential surface as you all guys know here a and b are equipotential surface as you guys know equipotential surface is nothing but a surface which has same potential on all the point on it that means if you consider this point on this a surface and this point on the same a surface then there is no change in potential both the sub point have same potential now in such we have two such uh, surfaces now we have given voltage v to the equipotential surface a and we have given voltage v minus delta v to b as you see we have reduced the voltage in b by the fraction delta v and as you all can see here delta v is the difference between the voltage from equipotential surface a to equipotential surface b and p is the point on the equipotential surface b and delta l is the distance the perpendicular distance perpendicular straight distance from the surface b to the point which is projected perpendicularly to point a that is nothing but the p point which is on b and some another point which is at perpendicular distance to p at a is delta a the distance between them is delta a. and and uh, e is the equipotential force acting in this direction the above direction now with all this prerequisite let us go on solving the problem as you all guys know in most of us derivation we have considered the test charge which is a unit positive charge now we have we have also considered the same unit positive charge delta q which is 1 coulomb here now we are moving that charge on a perpendicular distance from the equipotential surface b to a we are moving that charge q from p to the potential surface a now while moving as you can see the electrostatic force is acting in the opposite direction to our m- movement now while we are taking the point from b to a and while the force is applied or the force is pushing us in the opposite way as you all know force is nothing but a as you all know work is nothing but a force into displacement i hope this is so familiar with you now the work that is done by a test charge now considering the work delta v the test charge is so small now considering the small work done by a charge is nothing but force what is force here the force is electrostatic force into what is displacement here that is nothing but a perpendicular distance delta l and as you all know there is also a cos theta element now here considering cos and what is theta theta is the opposite direction so 180 degrees the our theta now this equation reduces to minus y because cos 180 is minus 1 and minus e into delta l this is the work done of the test charge in the first case now if you have introduce yourself to the chapter 2 that is equi equi electrostatic potential and capacitance you guys will know work done is nothing but change in voltage the change in 
voltage work done is nothing but a change in voltage so work done here is also given in the form the change in voltage change in voltage is delta v change in voltage so change in voltage is delta v as you guys see in this image here we have v here v minus delta v so we have reduced the potential at b by delta v so change in potential is nothing but delta v which is v at a minus v at b v at a is v and v at b is v minus delta v now change in potential is nothing but delta v and our delta v is nothing but work done as i stated here delta v is nothing but work done this is statement 2 and we got work done in both the lhs of equation 1 and equation 2 now as a simple basic mathematics we know we can equate the rhs this gives our final equation that's all student there is nothing here all you need to do is you need not to remember or mug up this equation how it came you just you just need to remember force into displacement is gives us e into delta l and cos theta is the element along with this derivation and also what you need to remember in this equation is nothing that you need to consider two equation for work you need to do the equation of work in with respect to change in potential equation of work with respect to force into displacement this is the classical or the normal physics and this is from the electrostatic potential what you have learned now get two equations equate those two equations you will get the required thing and for that you will also get the three or four marks what is given by your teacher as you know now equating rhs minus e into delta l gives us delta v from this e is nothing but minus e is nothing but minus delta v by delta l v obtained the final equation that's all change in potential per unit length is nothing but electrostatic force this describes electrostatic force and as you can see the negative sign the negative sign shows that the direction of the electrostatic field is in the opposite direction which is decreasing in potential that's it this completes the quantity also remember the quantity that the delta v by delta is the rate of change of potential why because we have a rate term the fraction rate of change of potential with distance that is nothing but a potential gradient you can also maybe ask with this term potential gradient gradient remember all those key terms which may be asked in your papers so now wrapping up this derivation if you like what i have thought if you think that this is short and simple to learn then please do subscribe share and like thank you